there's this very special part I want. And to make it, you need a high precision CNC machine. Luckily, I've already designed one, so today I'm gonna build it. I've already printed all the parts, so I just need to assemble them. The main body is made from these two aluminum extrusions, and these are gonna be bolted together. So I need to tap these two holes. And to help me with the tapping, I printed this part, which will guide the tap straight into the hole. I also need to drill clearance holes to the other extrusion to be able to tighten the bolts. I've already arrived at the first problem. So I got these bolts from a company which basically fucked me over and I had to get the extrusions from a different one. These bolts are too long so I can't fully tighten them and I can't make the thread any longer, because my tap isn't long enough. So I've got two options. I can either drill a hole at the top to make room for the tap, or I can just buy new bolts, and I'm taking the second option. So this bolt has the proper length, but the back isn't flat. So when I tighten it, the stress isn't gonna be uniform. And it also has this stupid fucking head. Why do they still make these? This is embarrassing. I guess it works. Okay, now I'm gonna tap the other hole. Alright, this is already pretty stiff, but I need it to be as stiff as possible. So I'm gonna add these corner brackets on the inside. And after that, I'm gonna add these free printed supports on the outside. The way these fit together is basically magic. Since the main body is finished, I'm gonna attach the X axis. These are the guide rails, which are pretty stiff and also constrain the movement only in one axis. And this is the cart that's gonna ride on them. And I'm gonna move the cart with this motor and a threaded shaft attached to it. Can you see it? Probably not, but maybe you can hear it. This is called backlash and it's basically the physical space in between these two parts. And it makes the nut move about a fifth of a millimeter along the axis. Which is a deal breaker for me, because I need my machine to be precise. But I know a trick that's gonna fix it. I added a nut to each side of the card. And right now there is a small amount of backlash. But if I tightened the two nuts against each other, the backlash disappears completely. The drawback is that you increase the friction. These are the linear bearings I'm gonna be using. And you can see there's a line of steel balls. And these balls loop around and go to the next line and so on. This is basically a super cheap version of a ball screw. Yeah, you never want to hear this sound when you're working with the bearings. I've already managed to break two of the four bearings. And I've decided I'm gonna take the engineering way and just ignore it until it becomes a bigger problem. Before I add the Z-axis, I'm gonna hook this up to an Arduino and make sure it works. I'm not sure which way this is gonna move, but I hope it's gonna be that way. 
fuck. I've just finished the Z-axis and now I'm gonna add the corner supports and also the electronics box. Now I'm gonna mount all of the electronics. So the Arduino and the power supply are gonna be in this main box. And the controls, which I've already wired, are gonna be in this controls box. This reminds me of the profile picture vs real life meme. Yeah, fuck wear management. Before I mount this to the main body, I'm gonna test all of the controls. Right now it's printing out the buttons I'm pressing. Run, face, set zero, left, right, yeah I think this works. This on off switch is mechanical and I forgot to check the polarity, so I don't know if it's on or off right now. And I obviously want it to be off, so I'm gonna measure it and hopefully it's off because I don't want to disassemble this mess again. Nice. I just want to say, this looks so fucking cool. I mean, apart from the wiring, but you know what they say, it doesn't matter what's inside of you, the outside matters the most. I've just coded the manual control, and you might think it's not moving, but it's actually just slow as shit. It's designed to be really compact. Now it would probably be a good idea to explain what I'm actually gonna use this for.